All right. <clears throat> I took two days off. I felt like I needed it. Um, plus, I wanted to do legs today with uh, conjunction with my laundry. Because I normally do laundry on leg day. I like to, because leg days are long for me, I like to flush it out. Um, all right, let's go over the training first. And then I'm going to go over my protocol starting tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> I did 25 minutes on the elliptical today to start off. Uh, I then... Moved over to leg extension. Um, I believe I did 43 kilos and then 89 kilos or somewhere around there. I only did, I did two, two different sets uh, on two different weights. Well, more than, more than two sets I did. I did two different weights on the leg extension. Fucking hell, what am I talking about? Um, I swapped it around today as well. I did lunges last and squats second. Um, that's because I'm doing five by five. I think it's uh, a no-brainer for me to switch around the training again because I've been training, you know, a certain way for a couple of months now, and I wanted to mix it up. And I feel like now's the right time, considering that I'm starting my uh, next cycle tomorrow. Um, I did five by five squatting again. I'm going to stick to that for the for. I want to say for the rest of this cycle, for the next eight weeks, I'm going to do five by five. On squatting, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see how I'm gonna adjust the other the other workouts. So the push pull, um, arm workouts. I'm gonna change everything up again for the next eight weeks during this blast. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep things fresh and change things up, and I'm gonna try and hit some PBs and some set some targets and stuff because of now I think is the right time to start increasing the weight um, because I'm introducing anabolics again into my uh, into my routine it's gonna help me with recovery and joint lubrication and, and mobility and all that other stuff and with strength obviously strength recovery mobility and uh, yeah joint lubrication because of the nandrolone um, yeah, squats today, 5x5, five five. I upped the weight 2.5 kilos, so uh, last, I believe it was either, it was Tuesday, I did quads on Tuesday, uh, I squatted on Tuesday, and that was 85 kilos, 5x5, uh, five five. but I did that last, because I did lunges before that, so I was already pretty exhausted. This time around, I did 5x5 five five on 87.5 kilos. I've actually got a video, I'm going to put it up, one of the shorts of me doing that. First set of the 5x5 five five on 87.5. Next leg session is going to be 90 and then 92.5 and then 95 and 97.5. And I'm going to go up 2.5 every time and uh, see how far I can go in the next eight weeks. Obviously, within, within safety, I'm training alone. I don't have a spotter or a partner or anybody there to look out for me most times. Nine times out of ten, I'm training alone, um, so I need to be careful as well. Um, obviously, I've got the safeties and stuff, which I will be implementing as the weight progresses. Um, and obviously, my lifting belt and all that other stuff, you know, the core, engaging the core. And, uh, yeah, just squatting, squatting as safe as possible. Uh, moved over to lunges afterwards. I did six sets, uh, two sets... Each on the 10 kilo, the 12.5 kilo, and then the 15 kilo dumbbells. Finished off on seated calves, um, and yeah, was a good, was a good, was a good session. I feel accomplished. Um, and yeah, that was it for training today. Um, yeah, Friday and Saturday I took off. Today Sunday, the 4th of February, so it's officially been one year since I've been training that's a big milestone for me I'm really proud of myself I'm happy with that achievement among other achievements that I've been doing in the last two sort of one and a half years turning my life around right let's get down to the protocol for the next eight weeks which I'm going to be doing like I said I'm going subcutaneous I bought 100 disposable subcutaneous needles these are the disposable insulin syringes at one milligram. Uh, so yeah, 
and I'll be doing 0.1 mil of each compound. So that's 0.3 mil total of anabolics every day, seven days a week for the next eight weeks. Um, I don't know if you can see the lines there, but the lines are inside there. Uh, so yeah, 0.1 mil total each day per compound, 0.3 mil. Now the good thing is, here's the anabolics. The good thing is, there's the testy. I don't know if you can see it, if it's out of focus there. If you can't see it really. But they're all same brand, Pharma QO. Um, 300 milligrams per mil of the testy, enanthate, testosterone enanthate. My body seems to respond best on enanthate. I've tried Cipionate, I've tried Sus. Um, from what I recall years ago, enanthate always done me good, so we're going to try it again. Nandrolone Decanoate 300, Deca, 300 mil per milliliter. And I love, I, I've loved, I've fallen in love with Deca since last year, man. The pumps on Deca that I get are fucking insane. Um, and then the Boldenone, the Boldenone 300. Uh, you can't see it, it's out of focus, but yeah, Boldenone 300, aka Equipoise, aka the horse steroid for endurance and a red blood cell uh, uptake or increase, rather. So they're all the same 300 milligrams per mil uh, of liquid, all the same company, um, and the liquid looks very clear. Um, and like my SUS250, my SUS250 is a bit on the yellow side and uh, yeah I'm gonna leave that in the fridge for uh, future things you know if I want a shot here and there or something like that I'll probably I'd probably jump on that because it's got four esters once one one quick two medium and one slow ester I believe in the SUS250 um, so yeah I'm going to be doing a total of 210 milligrams a week of each compound so 0.1 mil a day of each compound is totaling 210 milligrams of compound every seven days so it's 0 0.7 0 0.7 milligrams of each compound totaling for the week and out of that 0 0.7 milligrams of, of oil or liquid I get 210 milligrams of the compound itself in my body that is three times near enough, three times lower than the cycles I was doing last year, my first two cycles last year. Last year I did Test Cipionate and DECA at 600, uh, 600 milligrams a week on a Monday and a Thursday, intramuscular deep muscle needles and I do have scar tissue on my left, on my left glute because of that. I'm going to iron that out, I'm going to sort that out with deep massage, uh, with the gun and stuff like that, I need to invest in one. Anyway topic for another day um, yeah I'm doing a third of what I did last year hoping that the, the point of this the goal for this is to have my serum concentration levels up constantly at the top so I'm not yo-yoing up and down um, that seems to be the preferred uh, preferred protocol for uh, for people these days, professionals, people that know much more about this than myself, people that I've been watching on uh, on YouTube, um, real credible people. So yeah, serum concentration levels, instead of peaking on a Monday and then dropping slowly, often by Thursday I'm shooting back up again and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday shooting back up again. I'm going to shoot daily, subcutaneously, 0.3 mil every day. Um, start off with seven days. Uh, I'll see how I feel after the first four weeks. It'll, it'll be nice and saturated after the first four weeks. Do another blood test uh, in four weeks' time. So on the 5th of tomorrow, I'm sending off my blood work tomorrow morning. And then that'll be one, two, three, four. So the 4th, the 4th of March, I'll be looking to... Because that'll be four weeks exactly... So the 4th of March, I'll be looking to send off my next set of blood work so that I can compare it with tomorrow's blood work, which is me more or less natty, 
um, and then in four weeks time I want to see how my serum concentration levels are if everything is good and then I'm going to adjust accordingly I mean everything should be good um, I'm doing it for eight weeks this time not 12 uh, gyno should be should not be an issue for the most part I do have a Rimadex on hand of course should it be a problem I don't think it will be a problem um, because of the dosages and the frequency no no yo-yoing so the estradiol and the test are not fighting each other constantly with aromatization I want to keep them keep those levels good and then uh, yeah eight weeks on eight weeks off uh, I think eight weeks is perfect I think less is more um, and yeah I want to do as many blasts as humanly possible and this year I need to check my heart and my arteries um, to make sure that everything's okay obviously I'm getting blood work done on a monthly basis which is good but blood work does not determine my uh, plaque buildup or my uh, left ventricle hypertrophy so the um, heart size increasing and the left ventricle the left uh, the left artery increasing in size causing all sorts of problems cardiovascular disease heart attacks and so on which is uh, something very important to me which I need to get tested and like I said I want to do that twice a year ideally every six months um, yeah depending on what the doctor says as well and how my first test comes back I will adjust obviously the lifestyle accordingly um, again I haven't I haven't been abusing gear in my 20s I started the first the first cycle I ever did I was 22 or 21 and I did one bottle of of testosterone for 10 weeks I was I don't know what I was doing obviously I was doing one mil every Monday um, for 10 weeks I had no side effects no issues and uh, I got really fucking strong and I loved it but then after that everything crashed as you know uh, I fell off training um, yeah and it financially and all that other shit second time was years later I did another one bottle of test did the same thing three four five this is probably the fifth time in my life I've done anabolics and last year was the first time I've done quote-unquote bodybuilder doses you know more aggressive doses like 600 milligrams a week of two different compounds and then the second cycle was 18 weeks um, started off with uh, Prima Bolin EQ and test and then jumped off the the Primo I think week 12 carried on with the EQ till week 18 so yeah these are all these are all long aggressive cycles that I was doing at 600 milligrams a week um, so yeah I don't I don't think I'm personally in a position where I'm actually paying the price as much as most people that blasted the shit out of gear in their 20s um, but they have muscular uh, how do I say muscular maturity and density to show for it whereas I don't I've been on and off for 16 years training um, and yeah this this past year has been the most consistent in my life so I want to do this well into my 40s for the next eight years at least seven eight years till I hit 40 I'm turning 33 in two weeks today on the 18th of February is my birthday I'm turning 33 and yeah I feel good so yeah that's it that's the protocol covered and that's what I plan on doing and tomorrow is push pull and uh, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. All right, latest. Bye.